Good night, everybody. Oh my God, I have everybody on time today. I have Tanya here, Umberto, Francisco, Natalie, and Carlos. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. How are you? Good night, teacher. Fine, and you, teacher? Cool, amazing. Really? Yeah, actually, yeah. I love everybody that is so punctual. It's okay. to I'm gonna show my face in a couple of minutes. Just, I just come here <laughs> <laughs> because I'm completely disaster. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a complete disaster right now. Hey, you know what? We only are. Oh yes. No, actually, no. We have all the three girls, including me. And one, two, three, four boys. Ooh, that's cool. That's amazing. Hey, guys, but uh, I just want to see your face if it's possible. Carlitos, welcome. Oh my God, I miss you. Hey, Hi, nice teacher. to see you back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I, guess, I don't say. I don't look, what, sorry, I don't watch the, the other. The what? Uh, the Kleisman, Janet, Gerardo. Oh, I think they're amazing <laughs> right now. I don't know, maybe they're going to join us later on. Hey, Tatia, Tanya, right? Hey, Tanya, Tanya. Yeah. Tanya, we have, a, actually the only ones that I know so far is uh, Carlitos and Tanya. Yeah. Okay, now you can see me. Hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hi. nice to meet you guys. Ooh, all righty, yeah. You're so handsome and beautiful ladies. I'm so happy about it. Yeah. Uh, I only know uh, Carlitos Antonio because he has been my student for the past model, right? I think yeah. I think Carlitos like more than six months ago, right? Uh, yes, uh, the uh -huh. level number two. Uh, yeah. Intermediate, 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 intermediate two. Intermediate two, two. Yes. Well, you're intermediate one. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, ah, maybe I don't you haven't practiced this. a lot. <laughs> that could be good. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. I'm so happy to have you back. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, Carlitos, please don't let them know. But this teacher is a little bit crazy. Okay. <laughs> so you have to get used to it. Yeah. Right, Carlitos? Yeah. No, right. Right. No. right. Carlitos, <laughs> don't be so mean. <laughs> I am bad. I, I, I bad. I bad. <laughs> you're bad. You're bad. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not bad. I'm so happy. Yeah, you're so angels. Easy. I'm an angel. <laughs> no, well, not yes. really. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy to have Carlitos here. I, it's the only one that I know. <laughs> uh, this is the first time that I know um, that I meet um, basically Francisco Jose. Also, Umberto Jaco or Hako, how you pronounce your last name, Umberto? Uh, I couldn't hear you, sorry. Could you please repeat it one more time? Hako. Hako, oh, you know what? You know what, remember, Umberto? There is um, uh, a beach in Costa Rica in the Pacific side named Hako, and it's a beautiful beach. Yeah, that's why when I when I saw your last name, I was like, oh my God, remember that beautiful beach. It's really nice. Hey. So it's the first time that we know you. So that's me. That's great. Amazing. I also have Jorge Antonio Figueroa Cazares. It's been a pleasure, sir. Welcome to today's class. Um, I also have Francisco Jose Menendez. Uh, Tanya, uh, Contreras, Natalie Alarcon. Natalie, uh, are you able to turn it on your camera by any chance? So I can see how beautiful you are, right? Tanya is really beautiful. Yeah. Don't Thank worry you if so your hair is like a complete disaster. Don't worry about that. And, uh, for me, it's fine. So what happened that Natalie, you cannot turn your camera right now? I think she, she can, right? Oh, that's cool, no problem. What about Irvin Cornejo? I think I know this guy. I think so, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no, 
uh, you look similar to somebody who I know, but no, no right now. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Welcome to today's Hello, class. nice to meet you too. Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you too. I have Marta Fontaine. I have Iris Rosio, Dina Flores, Jose Aristides, woo, Nelsie Santos, and Jasenia Cibrian. Hopefully I pronounce your last name, guys, correctly. <laughs> That's why I ask Humberto how he pronounces his last name, because I want to make sure that I pronounce all of your first names correctly and last names as well. Well, guys, I'm going to be your headache. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I'm going to be your teacher for all the model. So, uh, well, hopefully we can become um, more than teacher and student relationship. We could be like uh, friends, right? A team. We can help each other and we can have a good time. We're gonna be a really good uh, team, but as the way I'm also, I'm a really tough teacher. So we'll ask a lot from you, okay? I, I also speak Spanish, don't worry about that. I do. <laughs> so if you do not, um, right Carlitos? So if you do not understand something, uh, hi Alejandro, just let me know. Uh, sometimes I speak a little bit faster, right? So if you do not understand something, please let me know. You said, teacher, what? I don't get it. And I can just slow down a little bit or I can recap what we have said. And, and basically, I will try to slow down a little bit. Um, I'm going to reinforce your four skills, right? Your speaking, your reading, your listening, and also your um, writing, because it's really, really important for me. Well, enough talking about me you know because the purpose of of this course is just to improve your skills and one of the hardest skills to improve is that speaking right so do me a favor um i don't know if you have a with the previously teacher or with the previously model if you have just speak Spanglish <laughs> or more English than Spanish or more Spanish than English. I don't know. We will try to like try to reinforce that and try to speak more English than Spanish. Okay, definitely. Because that is one of the keys, right? To improve our, our English skills and to increase our vocabulary. But I'm just going to give you an advice, guys. You know what advice is? Does everybody know that word, advice? What, Tanya? What was the yeah. word? Consejo. Cons Consejo. Exactly, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. All right. Um, I don't know if this, all of you have the same English level. Maybe yes, maybe not. But uh, my recommendation will be when you try to express yourself or your ideas, don't like search for sophisticated words. No way. Just choose the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay. Try to explain yourself as easy as possible. Just, just the vocabulary that you know. Maybe when we finish this course or when you're passing to the different courses after this one, you will be able to express yourself a little bit much better and you will use another word because you will increase your vocabulary. And that's awesome. But right now, please, if you're going to speak about something or if you're going to spread your idea, don't complicate your life, okay? Try to use the vocabulary that you know so far. This is great, was it cool? Yeah, any doubts so far? No? Did you understand more, most of the information that I gave you? Yeah, or no? Yes, miss. Oof. I was like, oh, no way. Like, <laughs> all righty. I will put a lot of energy because I know that all of you have been studying, working, and you're like, right? And having classes at eight is not easy. But don't worry. You're going to have so much fun and you're not going to feel that one hour class, I promise. All right. So now do me a favor. Uh, I want to hear, I want to hear from you guys, which are your expectations for this model? Can somebody start? 
please, one of the time. I know that everybody wants to participate. I understand that. I know everybody's like happy, like woohoo, me teacher, but no, only, only one of the time will be fine. Uh, or if you want to, I can do it little crack legally, right? We'll be good. All right, Carlitos Antonio Polanco is done. <laughs> I know you. So I'm sorry, like eh, you're the lucky one. Go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, my expectative uh, it's the uh, learn to learn the past, the past verb, the past, the regular verbs, because I have big, huge problems in my mind for the uh, the no the difference present past past participle and anyway, my 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 object my goal is uh, learn to the the past tenses in, in regular verbs anyway. I promise you will, sir. And yes. you're lucky because you know that you are a teacher that loves grammar. In this moment, in my computer, look, uh, I found the the list of the verb to put on the on the window because it's necessary to me. Oh yes, yeah. that's cool. Excellent. Uh, ah. I will send you a lot of things because you know what? I know guys that one hour daily is not enough. So the teacher, uh, I'm going, maybe what I'm going to send you during the weekend, something that I consider that will help you like tango twisters, like songs, like any documental, for example, yes. I'm going to send you something to help you uh, like develop the skills. Mm -hmm. All right, so then I'm gonna send it to you a lot of things. So you're gonna work with me a lot because I consider guys that when you're learning a foreign language, also you gotta know the culture of the, all the countries that speak that language. So ee, it's gonna be so much fun. Ee, oh my God, look at your face. Everybody's like, mm, in what class I'm into right now? Like, mm. oh my God, right? Like, hey, I wanna quit. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Okay, thank you, Carlitos. Is anybody else wants to participate in and say something? I know. Oh my god, let me double check. Hmm. Who looks? Who has a really interesting smile? And a really, I don't know. I think it's paying attention. Um, Francisco Jose Menendez. I don't know. You you look so so nice, person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? yeah, yeah I, well, I do think so. So that's why I express myself. So do me a favor. Are you agree with Carlitos or would you want to ask something else? What do you expect for this course? Okay, but first, I really want to progress in this level because I'm just waiting for a good job. In this, in this time, I'm still working, but I'm, I have my head set, but I still read it there and, and listening to you. But I really want to stay uh, to increase the money or something like that. But I'm so happy to stay here. I'm so excited that uh, I stay in the last in the last level it was very great for me. But today I really want to progress more and more and more because I have so many goals and I have so many propositions for this year. Oh, I understand. And that's cool. A great job. And you know, you're right. Because when you learn English, it mm -hmm. opens many doors. Yeah. Many, many doors. And you're lucky because this teacher have mm -hmm. 10 years in a call center experience. So, yeah, so you cannot imagine. I understand that. So don't worry. We're going to work together. Okay. okay yeah, you. that's cool. That's awesome. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yay. What about... Okay, you know what? Enough of men, right? Because in my point of view, everybody says ladies first, but no way, not in my class. Okay, so in this case, men have been first, right? <laughs> but now let me listen to somebody else. Um, Nelsie, you look so nice. I love your smile. So go ahead, girl. Let's listen to you. Which are your expectations for today's class of, and for the rest of the model, of course? We cannot listen to you. I think your Microsoft is off. Your Microsoft, your microphone is off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. There you okay. go, girl. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Nancy. 
And I want to improve my English level because I need to improve my skills. How would, how would you say? And the skills to speak and writing and grammar. And I need to, to improve my all my skill and uh, because I are um, a good element for my job. Definitely. So you will need your skills to like upgrade, upgrade oh, yeah, yes, up yes, in your yes. in your work, right? Or in yes, your area, yes. or maybe in a different area, but in the same enterprise. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Of okay. course, girl, you're gonna suffer with me. But I'm gonna <laughs> but I'm gonna let you know something. Everybody's like, uh, grammar, because that is one of the part of the of the English that nobody likes. I don't know why. But I would let you know something. We, you're going to love grammar with me because I will oh. show you how practical is grammar in a daily basis. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Woo. Very good. All right. Another girl who I, I, it looks like she's shy, but with me, I'm sorry. You will have two options, guys. Or speak or speak. Which one you will prefer? And everybody's so quiet. <laughs> wow. I rather twice. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, no, only what? one. <laughs> yeah, All right. So you're gonna speak with me. Speak with me. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no there's no more options, right? So let's start. You already start, so that's good. All righty. Uh Tanya. Tanya Contreras. Hey. Okay. You look like uh, you. when's gonna be my turn? When's gonna be my turn? That was your turn, girl. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Okay, hello. Okay, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tania Contera, and I want to improve my English. I finished my associate program in the Universidad Pedagógica. And my reason that I am here is because I want to practice, because if, it, if you... Uh, don't practice your English, you can uh, lose your skills, your writing skills, your listening skills, your um, listening, the other, I, I forgot. The fuck, oh, come on. <laughs> I know, I know, you said it didn't come up, it didn't come up, you said like, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I, I am a little nervous, but on, no. I want to practice with you. Yeah, you will definitely and don't be nervous no i'm not a bad teacher this is no, not like matilda not. movie okay don't worry about that i'm not doing chandora don't worry about that but it's new for, for me this method ah, uh, virtual okay. method mm -hmm. i want to something that maybe for uh, i don't forget press uh, when you stay in front of the other people, uh -huh. uh, I don't know how can I say presentations. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, a live, yeah, uh, live, live class. Yeah, yeah, that that's the word. I want to something maybe a lot because this is new for me. You mean uh -huh. virtual? That's new. <laughs> I know, but yeah. you know what? That is but, one of the benefits of uh, technology issues, right? Yeah, that's great. And you can uh, stay with other people and practice. And I am very happy to stay with you guys. That's awesome. We are happy to have you as well. I know that we're going Thank to learn so much. A, a, a lot from each other. My pleasure, Tani. And last okay. but not least, I'm going to uh, listen to somebody who is like, paying attention to close attention to everybody's participation, Jose Antonio Figueroa Caceres. It's been a pleasure, sir. How are you, sir? Fine, how about you? Oh, awesome. I'm <laughs> happy to have you. Well, my, my expectation for this course is learn skill to speak fluency. Mm. Because it's, hard, it's a little bit hard to me speak fluency mm -hmm. uh, and it's a pleasure to meet with everybody here 
Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you as well. So you said, uh, uh, Antonio, uh, that you need to be more fluent. Mm -hmm. Fluent. Tengo la lengua, se me traba mucho la lengua. You have a, you're a tongue twister, but in Spanish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, you know what? That, I'm a teacher who loves tongue twisters. And that okay. is the purpose of tongue twisters in English, to like scramble your tongue, right? Yeah, exactly. So you will learn something like Peter Piper pick up pickle, pickle peppers like that, something like that. It's nice. Okay. Don't. Traba lenguas. Yeah, tongue twister. That is in English. Tongue twister. You know what? I have a tongue twister from from letter A to letter Z as in zebra. For the whole alphabet. <laughs> eh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna practice uh, English with me with different different methods, different ways too. And you'll love it. I promise that. I'm so happy to have all of you in class. I wish I could interview everybody, which is, will be really nice. But if I understood you guys correctly from everything that you had said, um, all of you want to improve your speaking skills, basically, right? Your speaking skills. And uh, basically, in this case, Tanya said writing, listening, reading, and speaking, right? Mm -hmm. And you will, you will learn, guys that uh, it's not just one thing each area has like sub areas that we would need to improve that's why we're here and don't worry you're gonna have so much fun i promise that oh my god i have a lot of guys here i have more girls and guys let me check no 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 no. let me check one two three, four, six. only six girls in six boys no no seven boys hey sorry girls mm -mm. we're not lucky to say <laughs> all righty very good guys let me ask you are you used to like um in the previously classes or is the first class that you're taking with with us within glass corporativo this is the first class or no it's my first class tanya yes all yes. righty what about the the rest of you guys Martita, hey Martita, yeah, we're equal. <laughs> seven and seven. For me, I yeah, start for the beginning. Month. You started for the beginning, so you have been with us for several months, eh, Jorgito. Yes. Okay, cool. What about Umberto? What about Francisco? Jose, Carlito, Irvin, Ale? It's my second month. The second month. Well, cool. Yeah. And Riz, Yesenia, Marta. What about you, Jose? Artists Elena Chacon. I I returned to the to the class. Yeah, welcome back, sir. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, and thanks. I'm so happy. Yeah. So you used to speak more Spanish than English, or what? Equal and equal. Uh, so 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 so. But but I I I can uh, I I I want to learn to speak English and because my uh, for my job um is. Uh, it's very important. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, it is, definitely it is. We There have been some lucky persons uh, who basically have learned this foreign language since they were kids. So that is an advantage, right? Some of us haven't, uh, haven't practiced that or haven't learned the, um, this foreign language when you were when you're already adult. It's going to be different things. It will be, maybe it will be a little bit harder. But mm -hmm. if you put an extra effort, woo, don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. Oh my God, Grace! Thank you, Griselda. Thank you, Bea. I'm missing Ale, Irving, Carlitos, Antonio, Marta, Jesenia, and Dina. All right. I will. I will remember about Flintstones. All right, guys. Let me ask you. How would you like me to call you, Jorgito, Antonio? Would you like me to call you Antonio, Jorge, uh, whatever? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. I think it's going to be Jorgito because I have a Carlitos Antonio. So I have another Antonio. So like, oops, right? And I have another Charlie Brown here. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, you're the only one. Yay. Okay. All righty. Francisco Jose, would you like us to call you Jose? Francisco? Frank? Wait. No, teacher. Yeah, sure. Frank? Frank. Frank. Yeah, yeah, cool. Very good. Tanya, Tanya, right? Or oh, Tani. Tani? Okay, cool. Tanya. Tanya, all righty. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, would you like us to call you Vanessa 
Or would you like us to Bani, call you Vanny? Vanny? Yeah! Vanny. Vanny. I have Bani. a really close friend. Her name is Vanessa. And I call her, hey, Vanny, how you doing? All right, <laughs> very good. Bea. Bea is the, um, the nickname, right, of Beatrice? Yeah? Yes. So exactly. would you like us to call you Bea? Yes. Cool. Thank Irving. You. Okay, Irving, I'm going to remember you. Have you seen guys that do documental about the crocodile man? The Irvings? No? No? For Animal Planet, I think. That's why I'm going to remember Mr. Irving Cornejo. All righty. Uh, Briselda. Hey, hey, Irving. Yeah. Hey, Briselda, would you like us to call you Briselda? Would you like us to call you or name you B Bree? I don't know. Maybe Breeze. Breeze is okay for me. Yes. Breeze or Breeze? Breeze. Breeze. Whatever. Okay, cool. <laughs> like Gorgi, the regular day was digital. <laughs> yeah. All righty, cool. And Jasenia Cibrian. I think I'm going to call her Jasenia. Marta Martita, maybe. Marta, Marta. Marta. Oh, Marta. Yeah, apologies. Okay, Marta. <laughs> oh, Martita, she said, no way. Marta teacher. Okay. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Umberto. Would you like us to call you Umberto or Mr. Hako? I don't know. Mm. Or Mr. H? I don't know. Okay, the next class I share my name in the in the in the screen is Alex. Alex is okay. Alex is okay. Okay, Alex. Okay. Oh, Alex. Okay, I'm going. I need to remember that you prefer to be called Alex. Okay. okay. Let me check. And, and Alejandro Uman Umanthor, right? With Z as in zebra. Umanthor. Oh, that's good. I pronounce. Am I pronouncing correctly, guys? One third. Did I say that correctly? Yes, Oof, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, thank you, Ali. Ali, I love your smile. Thanks. Yeah, like Nelsie. I love her smile too. You know what? I don't know what happens to you guys, but when somebody smiles, what is their reaction when you see somebody else smiling? You smile as well, right? Yeah, You're because it, yeah, You're because happy. it's also a show like empathy. It shows that it's happy, and you know what? I don't know what is that had happens to you guys, but uh, maybe you have a tough day, or you're tired, or you're sad, but somebody look at you with a smile. <laughs> How that makes you feel? Happy, right? Happy. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to respond that person with a smile too. All right. Uh, but I don't know the Photoshop. The Photoshop. <laughs> that is a called ghetto smile, you see? Because the, I, I, I don't watch the, 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 the real face picture. The, which one? Uh, ah, you, you, ah, you took it away. The the say all people watch your camera, but oh, ah. <laughs> okay. So let's ask Mr. I think Ali. Is is a, a Photoshop? It's a Photoshop, <laughs> Ali. Please dismiss his information. <clears throat> Show us the real Ali, please, because he's saying that your your picture is like a Photoshop. <laughs> Come on, Ali. No, no, no. He needs to show Alejandro, us his real, please. his real me, his real I person, right? <laughs> okay, Alejandro. Mr. Carlitos Antonio, Charlie Brown wants to see your real you. The real you. Sure, I, I drive right now. Ah, are you I driving? Ah, you yes. drive. Okay. Ah, uh, so I'm sorry, sorry. Carlitos. Uh, maybe later yes, on today, uh, or maybe to tomorrow. But tomorrow. Take <laughs> okay, you know what? My recommendation would be to My wear the same, the same, uh, the same uh, shirt, right? In the same pose. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a recommendation. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? I We're going to start to develop the skills, you know? And uh, hopefully you have been a really good listeners. Because Carlitos Antonio Polanco can let you know that I'm a tricky teacher. What does it mean? That uh, hopefully you have paid attention to your classmates' intervention. If not, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> okay. These, I'm going to ask you like a guess game. We're going to play a game right now. A memory game, by the way. Uh -huh. This is going to be easy. 
because it is the last intervention. If you forget it, I will kill you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Who said that cannot turn it on the camera because it's driving? Who said that? Which of your classmates said that cannot turn on the camera because it's driving? It was Alejandro. Alejandro. Oh, very good. One point, Jorquito. Alejandro. Very Alejandro. good. Okay, Ale. Very good. Thank you, Nelly. Um, who said that I had been already graduated from pedag pedagogy university and is here to improve her English skills? Tanya. Tanya. Oh, wow. Tanya. oh my God. Ooh, you are paying attention. I got to. Ooh, excellent. Okay. Who said that he used to be with us like a long time ago, but now he misses us so much that he's already back with us. He came back to English Corporativo. Who said that? Jose. Jose Aristides. Jose Aristides. Wow, oh my goodness, you are paying attention. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> All right, isn't it amazing? Yeah. How do you say hijo prodigo? <laughs> Prodig <laughs> prodigy, <prodigies> on. <laughs> prodigy on. yeah. <laughs> Ash. All righty. <laughs> Very good. And who said that um, the reason or one of the goals to be here in this class is to improve the English skills because she, I'm going to give you that, the, the gender, okay? <laughs> the gender. She wants to uh, upgrade on her enterprise. Who said that? Mm. <laughs> nyaka, nyaka. Who said that? I think so was Tanya. Nelsi Santos. Nelsi Who said that? Tani. Who Nelsi said that? Santos. Yeah, Tanya. Very good. Nelsi. Good job, girl. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, I was like, oh, well, they kill you. But okay, very good. <laughs> Who said that has been with us since the beginning? Of her of his English uh, learning. Who said that? And he's still with us. Who said that? <laughs> uh, Jorge. Jorge. Oh, Jorge. very good, Jorge. George. Yes. Yes, Excellent. Jorge. Yeah. Yeah, George. George, very good, but not of George. the jungle. Okay, just George. <laughs> very good. Oh, who said that? He's still working. It is nice to be with us right now, even though he's working. Um, but he's here because he wants to improve his uh, his incomes and um, get or find a better job. Francisco. Francisco. Frank. Frank. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, who said that he's going to change his name next uh, next class. Humberto. Humberto. Alex. Humberto. Alex. 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 Oh, Alex. 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 Yeah. Alex. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. 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 Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, <laughs> I'm missing something. Let me check. Did I ask everybody? Yeah, right. I finished, right? Ah, yes. No. I'm going to ask you something. Who said that? He didn't like the a classmate picture because for him looked like a <laughs> Photoshop thing. Carlos Polanco. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yes, exactly. I am <laughs> Exactly. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> but, but you know what? I'm gonna zip it. Hey, talking about that guy. Zip it. You know what is zip it is? English is. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Better. <laughs> okay. You know what zip is? Zip. Zip. Yeah, zip. zip. Okay, zip is another way in another word that we use when you ask somebody like. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. like any any rice guys exactly like the zipper like the zipper that you use to close something to close your pants to close your your um your skirt whatever you gonna i'm gonna put it here zip like this zip okay zip. so let me, may i ask let me let you know something because um 
that is one of the things I'm going to teach you something right now really quickly. Uh, that is a cultural thing. I can let you know that because most of the time you said, hey, shut up, right? When you, when you want somebody to like, but you can say that when you are with your friends or uh, when you are, for example, with your brother or with your sister that you like know each other, right? But you cannot say that word to a classmate. You cannot say that word to, um, to a coworker because us in the American culture, we feel that is rude and disrespect. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a hospital, you see that there is like a, like a symbol, right? It says quiet, right? Quiet. But also if you would like to like say the same thing, quiet, but in a polite way, you can say, zip it. And that means close. Or like, please like, give me that guitar, okay? Or pass me that guitar, okay? So zip is another way or is another um, expression that you can use um, when you would like to ask somebody to like, Let's speak for a little bit, okay? Okay, yeah. Is it good? Yeah? That is a cultural thing. That is really, really important to know. And I'm letting you know that, guys, because maybe Francisco, uh, maybe no, 100% sure is going to get a job. And you're going to deal with different kind of customers, maybe. So you need to know the cultural part as well. Okay, I'm going to teach you something else during, well, I will teach you a different thing every class, okay? So you will increase your vocabulary. Hey guys, so how can I say this in English? Can you please let me know three words that I can use this for this symbol? Be quiet. Be quiet. Another one? We have just Shut heard today. Shut yes. up. Uh huh. But that is rude. But yes, you can say it. <laughs> but only with your closest ones, right? And the last one. Be silence. Be silence. Okay. And the last one. One more. We just learned it right now. Quiet. Zip it. Yeah. Very good. Zip it. Okay. So that's four ways. So you see, guys. I, that's what I love about English because it's so versatile. You can say the same things in many different ways. All righty. So, guys, why the teacher had made this game? Why? If you have noticed, guys, when I ask you about your classmates' interventions, which, uh, which verb tense I used? Present, future, or past? I know, I know everybody wants to participate. Don't hesitate, awesome. I understand that. Are you sure? Uh, no, pass. Exactly, past, past. Like Umberto, that is the favorite uh, bird tense of Mr. Carlitos Antonio, right? <laughs> and, and, I, and, and when I said Umberto, he's like, what? If you, can, you, couldn't, you couldn't see his, his face, he was like, ah. What is she going to ask me about? No, okay. Don't listen good the, the question. No, don't worry. I'm just uh, I'm just asking guys that when I when I uh, after the game that we played, I asked some of you to let me know who said that or who said another thing, right? So I was asking you guys which verb tense I used to formulate the question. And Jorge Antonio said, or oh, Jorgito, can I call you Jorgito? Okay, cool. I think I'm your mama, like something like that, but no. <laughs> no. All righty. So, um, and Jorgito said, and Brie is like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. Yes, Brie, I know. Okay. And Jorgito said that it was past tense. And it's effectively right. Yes, past tense. So guys, okay. may I ask you something? Do you have any idea when do we use the past tense? Any idea? The, the use of the dif different, how do you say, the 
for example, use the auxiliary did and pass, uh, which was did do uh, anything. Uh, yes. or, or use the, when you said the, the verb plus, uh, sorry, add the ed uh, and pass. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's, yes, regular, it's irregular. Uh, no, it's, it's very. Okay. <laughs> very good. Yes, that is one way that we can talk about pass. You're right. And also there's another auxiliary that we use. But may I ask you, uh, when, when do we use it? For what? When we speak it. about the past. Uh -huh. Yes, but you're right, Tony. Uh, and you're making, right over mm -hmm. For making answer about the past. Exactly. For making question. Uh, uh, questions. Making question. Making question. Making question, telling something positive or negative, right? Exactly about the past. Exactly. You're right. So basically, we call it in English simple past, right? Why? Because it's simple. It's simple, 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 and you're not going to complicate your life. Oh, that, that will be awesome. That, you will know that. Yes, exactly. If, for example, you use a simple past, guys, when you're talking about an action that started in the past and ended up in the past. Like that. For that action, there is no space from present. Start in the past and end in the past. Yeah? For example, um... Let me see, let me ask you, Brie. Brie, do me a favor. I just wanna ask a simple question. Um, where were you born? I was born in San Juan Onualco in La Paz. You see, she said, I was born in San Juan Onualco. Let me ask you, did that happen only one time in her life? what <laughs> yes yeah of course right she cannot born every day every every year of course birth birthday is another <laughs> thing right yeah but she said i was born hey guys she answered really nice i was born which auxiliary did she use to be exactly the verb to be <laughs> which what it means in spanish verb to be you want to see your job no, what does no. it mean? Ser or estar. Ser exactly, estar, exactly. Estar. Exactly. Easy peasy queasy, right? All right, cool. So may I ask you, which are the two possible <laughs> verbs or forms that we can use for the verb to be in the past? One is was. What is the other one? Where. 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 Perfect. Where. Exactly. Where. So may I ask you, was? With which pronouns can we use them? Pronouns. No. Can uh, I say it, I you was? No. I, he, no. she, I. I, 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 Exactly. So the was, you can use it with the first person, singular person, which is going to be I, and the third person singular, uh, right? He, she, it. Me. Awesome. Very good. May I ask you? Do was uh, have uh, a negative form? Wasn't. 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 Very good. Uh huh. No, was. Oh, wasn't. wasn't is wasn't. A, is a negative wasn't. for was. Excellent. Very was, good. Yeah. Can I say it was not? Yes. Yes. Right. Exactly. And wasn't yes. is a contraction way. Right. Informal. Very good. Is it formal? Not really. Well, let me ask you. Okay, I want a volunteer. Who can write wasn't in the chat, in the Zoom chat? Can you please write it down? Thank you so much, Dina. Go ahead. Like, oh my God, did you guess? Dina, can you please write it down on the chat? How you write wasn't? How you write it, guys? We're going to start practicing our writing skills right now. Or anybody. Francisco, maybe Vanessa, I don't know, everybody, please. I want somebody who can write on the chat as fast as you can. Hurry up, hurry up, time counting. What's the first one? Hey, very good, excellent job. Very good, wasn't. Mm -hmm. Is a contraction of, can you please write, give me to me the whole word, was not? Who can write it down for me? 
Yeah, very good. Oh my goodness, Umberto and Irving. Ah. Mm -hmm. Francisco, the only thing that you're missing the coma, but that's good. Very good, very good. Excellent job. Excellent, very good. Okay, so that is easy peasy quizzy, right? Fine, very good. Okay, now may I ask you, what is the other um, form of the verb to be in the past? Besides was, we have another one, right? Where. 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 Where, where not. Where. 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 Because we have two where. where's, right? The one that you're asking is a WH question that you ask uh, to know about a location or where. a destination and the bird TV. So we have where and where. You're gonna learn the pronunciation because it's kind of similar, but it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Very good. So who can who can write it for me? Where? Who can write for me? Right. Hurry up. Fast. And also, I want somebody else who writes for me the negative form of work. Very good. What is it? We're not. We're not. Okay. Woof. Excellent. Excellent, very good. Congratulations to, uh, to some of you that, that wrote the W in capital. But you know what? I'm sad because all of you forgot something. Forgot the period at the end of the word or at the end of the sentence. Never forget the period at the end of the sentence, okay? Never. I'm gonna give you something. Uh, I was learning. I was. Uh, I was studying English that day, and uh, the teacher gave me um, a quiz. It was to write to wrote down nine sentences. I wrote all of them correctly, but guess what, guys? In three of them, I forgot the period at the end of the sentence. You know what happened? Instead of uh, got nine, I got six. Yeah. And I asked the teacher, why? But it, the sentence is not correct. She said, yes, but you missed the period of the end of the sentence. And what does it mean? That you still have something else to say. So if that was your completely idea, you got to put the period at the end of the sentence. And that was the reason why I put you wrong. You know what? I freak out. But since then, I learned that I would never get the period at the end of the sentence she said and she told me i don't care how is your spanish how you write in spanish i don't care but i do care how you write in english and i was like oh my god and she was british so i was like oh so you know what i i will remember her my whole life and you know no you know what how how was my how what was i when i was got that um, I was 14 years old by then. So I will never forget that. So very good, guys. Excellent. But never forget the period at the end of the sentence. Okay, cool. All righty. Now, guys, may I ask you, um, can I use that bird to be in the past uh, to formulate a question? Can I use it? How can you formulate a question with the bird to be in the bus? Anybody? No? Um, I have any? You can do it, buddy. Like yes, bird? you can do it in the in the question, but I want only the bird to be to you formulate a question. Are there. Are there. No, the bird to be. To be plus Ah, very good. Do me a favor, Bunny. Can you write it down on the, on the chat? The formula and then an example, if you don't mind. She said, ah, she want me to do that? She want me to do her job? Ah. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait for Bunny. Bunny, but, but don't take that hour, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know that this you already know, guys, but this is just to like quick review of all that. 
Hmm. Bunny, what happened? <sighs> ah, were you in the party? Uh huh. Very good. But don't re don't forget that if you're formulating a question, Bunny, the W has to be capital. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Were you in the party? Were you in the party or were you at the party? What do you think? At, 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 at the party. At the party. Yeah, at proposition, party. prepositions, yes. Were you, were, you at the, were you at the party? And if you, you want, hey guys, and if you want to like reinforce that you're talking about past, you can use past expressions like yesterday, last Saturday, the night before, whatever, right? You can do that. Past expressions, yesterday, the night before, last week, last summer, etc. Very good. Were you in the party? Uh -huh, Bunny. I was waiting. Ah, she said, mm -hmm. I'm going to wait for, for uh, Bunny's example, and then I'm going to show you right now, guys, my screen, okay? <laughs> Just teasing. Bunny, you need to, we're going to work on the speedness, like, right? Like secretary. Did you play basketball? No, 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 right now, Carlitos. Yes, Carlitos, you're right about something. Hey, real, that did, did, that did is another auxiliary that we use in the past. But right now, we're going to focus only on the bird to be. Bird to be, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but, but you're good about that. It's correct. It's correct. Uh, were you at the party? Uh, were they happy? Very good, Ben. The only thing, Ben, that never forget that when you were um, initiated, like um, like a sentence or like a question, you gotta use capital letter. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Let me show you my screen. Let me just a moment. It's gonna be easy, peasy, quizy. Okay. Can everybody see us? Yeah? Can yeah. Okay. Uh, let me check on Was he play football? Football, football. Come on. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is a quick review. You see, guys, this is like a timeline. We're talking about simple past. We got to start in the past and end it as in the past. For example, let me give you an example. Last year, coma. I traveled to Japan. All right, guys, we're going to focus this class on simple past verb to V, which is basically you already know that, right? This is something that we already discussed. Present tense is a column of the left. Simple past is a column of the right. So we already discussed that. The was goes with I, he, she, it, and where it goes with the rest of the pronouns. I'm going to give you just this, an example. So affirmative questions or affirmative sentences, guys. Who can help me read the, the first one? Could you please be so kind to help me read the first one, Mr. Umberto? Uh, I was tired this morning. I was tired this morning. Very good. Continue, please, if you don't mind. You were very good. Okay, continue. He was the best in the, his class. Uh-huh. She was late for work. Mm -hmm. It was a sunny day. Mm -hmm. We were at home. Mm -hmm. You were on holiday. Uh, they were happy with their test result. Very good. Okay, stop like this. Thank you so much, Umberto. Guys, so if you, uh, if you notice, what is the formula here, guys, for all the sentences? Who can give it to me? Huh? Subject. 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 Complement. Very good. Exactly. Very good. If you see, guys, if you use an, you can use either another verb like this one, or you can all looking not use it. You see? Very good. Very good, guys. But if you use it, may I ask you something? What kind of verb is this? This what? one. What kind of verb is this one? Tired. 
tired. I know, but what, what kind of verb it is? Is it a regular verb or a regular, regular one? Yes, regular verb. Because Why? I'll uh, add uh, uh, the ED. Very good, because it ends up with an ED. Very good. All right, exactly. And guys, here is something that we already discussed. What is the negative way of was? Was not, right? Was Can somebody not. help me read in the sentences? Thank you so much, Nelsie. Go ahead. Oops. See, let me see. Okay. Go ahead. Girl. I was okay. I was tired in this morning. No, no, no. The, the, the negative sentences, please, if you don't mind. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I wasn't not tired this morning. I wasn't no. If you said I, I was wasn't, not. I was not. Very good. Thank you. I okay. I, I was not tired this morning. Mm -hmm. You were not crazy. Mm -hmm. He was not married. She was not famous. Mm -hmm. It was not hot yesterday. Mm -hmm. We were not invited. Very good. You were not at the party. Mm -hmm. You were not friends. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job, girl. Amazing job. Very good. All right, good pronunciation. Congratulations to both of you. All righty, so may I ask you now something, guys? Uh-huh. Can we make, um, <clears throat> you see, this is, the, this is the contraction that I was talking to you right now. Can we make a, a questions? Ah, who don't see the screen, Umberto? All righty. Umberto, yeah. you don't see the screen because it's, it's a small, or what? No, in my in my PC is complete, but ah. so it's it's um. What borroso. about now? Is it much better now? Um, borroso. Oh, so it's weird. Okay, let me check. I'm gonna uh, stop sharing and I'm gonna share it again. Okay, let me see. There you go. What about now? Is it much better? You. Yes. yes. Complete the. Yes. Okay. Yeah, complete. All right. Cool. Yes. So, guys, let me show it to you. When we want to formulate a question only with the verb to be, you look what happens. What happened with the verb to be? Past. Uh -huh, in past. Past. Exactly. But in the question formula, where do I put the verb to be? In the middle, at the end, or at the beginning of the question? In the beginning. The middle. At the beginning. beginning. At the beginning. The beginning. You said was I was I late? Verb plus. Uh, verb to be. Uh -huh. uh, plus subject uh, plus the complement. Very good. Uh, Were you sick? Was he surprised? Was she from Italy, etc. Guys, may let surprised. me let me show you something. Can you all this question, guys, when you're talking about past tense, just on the bird to be, only the bird to be, do you see, guys, that we answer in a short way? Was I late? You said, yes, you were, or no, you yes. weren't. Depends, right? Can you notice that all the answers are short? Do you see, guys? Do you see that? Yes. May yes. I, yes, may yes, I ask you. something? Why? Why they short? Why I have short answer? Like, was I late? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Why? Because our question yes or not. Exactly, Nelsie, because that is a just yes, no question in the past. Okay. So you if the first, the immediate answer has could be yes, you were, no, you weren't. Depends on what they are asking you. Okay, if you want to provide extra information, you can do it. You can do it, but you gotta answer immediately to what they're asking you. And remember something for example, if you said yes, you were, for example, do you notice, guys, that you put yes with capital Y, then you put a comma, then you put you and where, and you put period. I just want you guys to take notice how you write correctly. Do you see? Yes, comma, you wear. 
when you are, I know that is you, it could it could sound like I already know that teacher. Yes, maybe you are not. Maybe you're right. But I want you guys to notice how you write it, because for example, you can answer yes, yes I wear, no I wearn't. But if you do this, yes you wear. Like this. This is gonna be wrong. First, because the yes is not in capital. Second, because there is no comma before the you. And third, because I don't have a period at the end of the sentence. So I want you guys to notice not only how to pronounce it, but at the same time, take notice of how you write it. Because for example, when you work, guys, you're gonna send emails, is that right? You're gonna receive emails. So you need to learn how to write correctly as well. So that's why I'm, put, I'm putting closer attention to not only the speaking part, but at the same time, the writing, the writing part, which is really, really important. All righty, so we're good. Never forget that, okay? The second sentence is run, completely run. And the first one is correct. Okay, oh, and let me ask you something. I want you guys to pay attention to something before I continue. We learned that was not is a negative form, right? Of was, that contractor is wasn't. You already let me know that. But let's practice something. How you pronounce this one? Was not, how you pronounce it? Can you pronounce it for me, Tani? Was not. Uh -huh. Was not. Uh huh. Frank? Was not. Was not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Was not. Uh -huh. Okay. It's supposedly an O, right? N O T. But you know what? That O is not not. That no is not. It's like a A. It's like an A. So you don't say was not. You say was not. Was not. We need to learn the pronunciation of not. The, yes. Okay, don't worry if you exaggerated. It was not. And, and your mama and your husband or your wife, you said, What happened, darling? Why you're so smiling today? It is because in English class, I was practicing the not. And you I know that it would your chicks will hurt this today, okay? I know. But repeat after me. Was not. Was not. Was not. Don't worry was if not. you exaggerate. Oh, That's okay not. for me. Was not. Was not. Was not. I, want, I want everybody to see you smiling like Alejandro. Was not. Was not. Was not. Very was good. Colgate smile. Was not. <laughs> was, not. Like, was not. Very good. Okay. Breeze. Was not. Was not. I want to hear was you, Bree. I cannot hear you. Was, was not. not. Very good. Was not. Frank, was not. Was, was not. not. Very good. Jorjito, was, was not. Was not. Very good. Vane, was not. Was not. Excellent. Yes. Carlitos, was not. Was not. Very good. Aristides, was not. Was not. Very good. Tony, was not. Was not. I don't, I don't see your mouth, sorry. Was not. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, girl. Excellent. Dina, was not. Was not. Very good. Humberto, was not. Was not. Very good. Aristides, was not. Was not. Very good. Irving, I want to see you. Ah, he knows that. Was not. Was not. Very good. And Jasenia and Martita and Elsie, was not. Was not. Was Very not. good. And you are like, oh my God, teacher, it hurts a little bit. Maybe right now you are like exaggerating, but when, when you practice that, your facial muscle will get used to it, that it will be like, was not, you see? Was not, was not. You're not gonna exaggerate. That sound will was come up that? naturally. Was not. Okay, I will teach you that correct phonetic about things. Because sometimes it is writing the same way, but it does not pronounce the same way. You know what, guys? I know that you love me and I love you too. But it's time to say goodbye. I told you, you're not gonna feel the hour. I told you that. Or did I, did I, did I told you or didn't? I didn't, no. 
Did I? Or I didn't? I forget the time. You forgot the time, right? You forgot the time. Alrighty. But I'm just still working. <laughs> I know, but you know what? It's still hot. I know. I'm sorry, Frank. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you a homework right now. I thanks God, teacher. But I had to let you know something. Um, well, I will let you know in advance right now. Tomorrow, we're going to be with a simple pass as well because we need to put a practice that, that all our auxiliary, right? That we're used to talk about that. Uh, but after that, guys, every single day, I'm going to ask you about your day. And you will need to put in practice all the simple pass that we're going to learn. Okay? So okay. we will continue practicing every single day. I'm, I'm not going to ask all of you because if not, all the class will be about asking about your name, right? No way. No, but I'm going to show some of you. Uh, what I'm also going to ask you for, and uh, maybe this one sounds like really basic things, maybe. But I want to know about something. I want to double check how you are in your knowledge and about writing as well. So I want to ask any of you to write it down for me today's date every class because we're going to practice something that you already know capitals punctuation ordinal numbers etc right okay ah you want to know send me that proper point yeah i'm gonna send it to you all right. Uh -huh. Thank you. All righty. If there's yeah. anything else that I can assist you, but any chance. <laughs> Thank you for being in English Corporativo. You have a wonderful night. I ah, just care. <laughs> I feel like a customer service agent, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Hugs. Make kisses. Have a lovely okay, night. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.